Okay. So we're here today at Freeport McMorrin, which is an international extractive industry that basically focuses a lot of their exploitation on indigenous people and on indigenous people's land. Freeport McMorrin is connected to Rio Tinto, which is also an international extractive industry. The connection to local indigenous people happens where these two companies partner up with Resolution Copper to do what would be the largest copper mine in North America. They want to do it in Superior, Arizona, and it would be on San Carlos Apache land. The San Carlos Apache indigenous people of this area have multiple times drafted resolutions, made them very public, and have made really heartfelt cries to say we do not want this mine on our land. Still, Resolution Copper and Rio Tinto and Freeport McMorrin, their eyes are on the money. They're killing people internationally every day. They do not care. That's why we're here today. It's an international connection between the exploitation of people from these extractive industries on San Carlos Apache land to Papua New Guinea. We're here to say enough is enough. No more Freeport McMorrin, no more Rio Tinto, no more Resolution Copper. They're all the same, one game, extractive industries, we say no. Is Freeport McMorrin part of ALEC? Freeport McMorrin is definitely a part of ALEC. And that's why we come here today to expose them. A lot of our messages is expose ALEC. So many people don't know who is involved in ALEC. So many people don't know what Freeport McMorrin and these other extractive industries are doing. You know, every day we see this tower. It literally towers over downtown Phoenix, but no one knows that they're incorporated and with Rio Tinto trying to mine in San Carlos, uh, on San Carlos Apache land also. There's a heavy police presence there. Is that for the public or is that to protect corporate interests? We see everywhere where there's mining, a connection between these companies and the police and the paramilitary. Many UN documents have come forth stating that the government pays the military to go out and literally kill the indigenous people in Papua New Guinea. So this is nothing new. This is a minor slap on the wrist for us resisting. Every day, indigenous people go out to battle these people on their land. This is nothing new. This is what Alec does, and people want to talk about violent protests. Look at this. This is, this is violence. Look at the bloodshed that happens in Papua New Guinea. Look at, look at the indigenous people dying every day. If it's not a literal bloodshed by the bullet of the military, their wages, even the people that cooperate, they don't get paid enough to live. They say they're doing structural adjustments. They say they're helping. They're not help helping. I mean, if you barely let someone live, is that called help? If you give them enough water to barely survive, is that called help? It, this is enough. It's, a, it's done. Shut it down. Shut down Alec. Shut down Freeport McMorrin. Shut down Rio Tinto. Shut down Resolution Copper. If people are here locally, you need to get involved and help the San Carlos people fight this mine. If, if you're you know, informed about Freeport McMorrin and you want to shut it down, you got to get involved locally, shut down Alec, and shut down the Resolution Copper before they can move any further.